Hi guys, welcome to our channel. It's M, and for those of you who don't know, I've been working as a disputes lawyer in Hong Kong for the past six years. That is, until I quit recently. And by quit, I don't mean just the law firm I was working at, I mean the legal industry. Right off the bat, I do want to explain that there aren't any lawyer horror stories that you sometimes hear in this video and that's not why I left the industry. This video is more about my journey and learning to overcome uncertainty and gain the confidence to walk away from the industry. This video is also not meant to disparage the legal industry or discourage anyone from becoming a lawyer. I just want to share my experience in the hopes that it might be helpful to some of you in case any of you have felt or thought the things I'm going to share in this video. Also, in case any of you are wondering, Lloyd and I will continue making lawyer-related content on this channel as Lloyd is still working as a lawyer and I still have a lot to share that I've learned from my experience of working as a lawyer for 6 years. Anyways, let's get started. I'm going to be taking you guys on a brief journey of my career from being an uncertain law student to walking away from a job at a top-tier international law firm. It'll also be taking you guys on a literal journey because in case you can't hear, Lloyd is actually on a call in the next room so I need to film somewhere else. Okay, first let's do a quick rewind to when I was in law school. I started law school in Hong Kong when I was just 18 years old and fresh out of high school. For those of you who aren't familiar with the legal education system in Hong Kong, it follows the UK system in that a law degree can be and is commonly obtained as an undergraduate degree right after high school. To be honest, I neither really liked nor disliked law school, but I thought I had committed to doing the degree so I still wanted to study and try my best, even though as time went on, I wasn't really sure that law was the right career for me. Also, I had chosen to go to law school when I was just a teenager and I don't know about you guys, but I sure did not know what I wanted when I was just 17 or 18 years old. Despite this, I went ahead and completed my degree and upon reflection, I think for several years I did try really hard to like law school and want to be a lawyer. And looking back, I can now admit that this was in part at least because society tells you that being a lawyer is a good and prestigious career path, especially in Asian cultures. So even though the doubt about whether law was right for me never went away, I went ahead and started working as a lawyer in 2015 after I graduated because that just seemed like the natural next step and I also didn't have another plan at the time. I also just wasn't sure if practicing law might be something I liked better than studying it so I decided, hey, why not give it a try? Now let's fast forward a bit. So under the Hong Kong system, one of the common ways of becoming a fully-fledged lawyer with a license to practice is working as a trainee lawyer for two years at a law firm. That was the path I was on when I started working, so I thought, hey, it seems logical to at least complete your two years and get your license to practice. But in those two years, the uncertainty of whether being a lawyer was right for me stayed. As I mentioned before, I was a disputes lawyer, and although I found some of the work interesting, I did think it was a good challenge for me at the time, I was starting to not like more of my day-to-day -day than I was liking. When I finally finished my two years and got my license, I did feel a sense of happiness and achievement because, you know, that was the goal that everyone was working towards and celebrated. But that feeling was fleeting because after I got my license, I just went back to the same day-to-day -day that I wasn't liking any more than I did before. On top of that, I could feel my own unease with myself growing with the fact that I knew I wasn't very happy doing what I was doing but I was still sticking around. However, I tried to squash that feeling at the time by reasoning with myself, oh I've already put in so many years, I might as well continue. Also known as the sunk cost fallacy. But anyways, aside from the fact that the job was paying the bills, I think a small part of me was still sort of attached to the idea that being a lawyer is a good career according to the rest of society. I also just didn't have the confidence in myself yet that I would be able to figure it out if I decide to stray off the beaten path and leave the industry. From that point onwards, I actually avoided making the decision about whether or not I want to stay in the industry for another year and a half, which is not something I recommend, but I just kept kicking it down the road for a future me to deal with. I basically waited until a point where my dissatisfaction with my work and my career reached such an overwhelming point that I couldn't avoid it any longer and I had to face the fact that I really just didn't like being a lawyer and I needed to make the decision about whether or not I was going to leave. This was compounded by the fact that being a lawyer is a generally demanding job with long hours and those hours eat into your nights, your weekends, your holidays, you name it. As a result, it was too all-consuming for me to just let it be. I had also come to realize three important things. Even though I had already poured nine years into this career starting from law school, I shouldn't see that as a waste and a reason to stay. Instead, the real waste would be spending the rest of my working years in a career that I already knew I didn't like. I knew if I stayed a lawyer without ever trying anything else, I would come to regret it and I didn't want to spend a lifetime wondering what if. One of the top five regrets of the dying, and actually the most common regret, is I wish I had the courage to live a life true to myself and not the life that others expected of me. 
After all, no one else is living my life aside from me and that's just a fact. The choices that I make or that I don't make are the ones that I will have to carry with me for the rest of my life. And this leads into the third thing that I realized. If I didn't decide what to do, then someone else would. In other words, if I didn't actively choose what to do with my career and my time and just went with the flow, then ultimately it would be someone else who determined that for me, such as the law firm employing me. So the next thing you might be expecting to hear is that I went ahead and quit. But in reality, even though I had already decided that I wanted to leave the industry eventually, I was not actually ready to quit right then and there due to financial and personal reasons. Because of these reasons, I actually continued working as a lawyer for another two years. For starters, I had absolutely no idea what I wanted to do instead of being a lawyer because unfortunately, after I started working as a lawyer, I had stopped pursuing and exploring a lot of my personal interests which were more on the creative side. I had also unfortunately spent my career up to that point using retail therapy as a coping mechanism for the fact that I wasn't very happy. Thanks to doing that, I didn't have an amount of savings that I was comfortable with. And finally, there was actually a part of me that wasn't entirely sure if maybe changing jobs and trying out another firm might make a difference. While this wasn't a major factor, it did keep niggling at me and I wanted to put it to bed before I left the industry. Anyways, to avoid making this video super long, I'll fast forward a bit. In those two years before I quit, since I didn't know yet when I wanted to leave, I prioritized addressing the reasons that made me feel like I wasn't ready to leave. Although it wasn't easy, I dedicated more time and energy to revisiting my creative interests and also took the time to research and explore alternative career options. I learned to budget and manage my finances better and also significantly reduced the amount that I was shopping. And finally, I also changed jobs and moved to a top tier international law firm just to see if it might sway my decision. I think it's also important to mention here that even though I didn't like being a lawyer, I believe very much still in trying your best and doing your job to the best of your ability, so I still worked hard and pushed myself. Clearly, moving firms didn't change my mind, otherwise I wouldn't be sitting here making this video. I finally pulled the trigger and resigned recently, two years after I had originally decided that I would leave the industry one day. It might seem pretty crazy to some people that I stayed in the industry for another two years after I decided I would leave, but for me personally, the long lead time was what I needed to be as sure as I could be that I wanted to go for good. Because in those two years, I learned a lot which I still carry with me today. I learned that as someone who has always been more the creative type, it was really important for me to be creating something in order to be satisfied with what I was doing. I learned to identify my values and what was really important to me, such as the fact that I valued the financial freedom to walk away from a high paying career that I didn't like over buying material goods like bags or clothes or shoes. And most importantly, I learned what I was capable of when I was trying my best and that's what gave me the confidence that I'd be able to figure it out if I walked away from my career. In the spirit of full disclosure, I would be lying if I said I had absolutely zero doubts about leaving and that there wasn't some temptation to stay for financial security. In a very ironic twist of fate, my resolve to leave the industry was actually tested exactly one week before I planned to resign when I was approached for a role at another law firm that would have paid double. The crazy thing is that despite everything that I just talked about it, I actually thought about it. I thought about staying a lawyer longer because of money. But I think that because of what I had learned in the past few years, I knew that doing that would betray my values in a way that I just couldn't stomach. And here I am sitting here making this video. Anyways, I am losing light, so that's it for now. If you liked this video or thought it was helpful, please hit the like button below and consider subscribing. And if you have any thoughts on this video or want to discuss anything that I talked about, please let us know in the comments. 